Now, the issues raised by the increment in school fees of students of the University of Medical Sciences, Ondo State, has been doused by the management of the institution. At the stakeholders' meeting held at the institution's campus, parents called for better funding of the university and support from well-meaning natives of Ondo Kingdom to make the university more sustainable. This stakeholders' meeting is coming on the eve of recent increment in the school fees of students at the University of Medical Sciences, Unimed Undo, in Undo State. The increment generated criticism from many quarters who describe the action as outrageous. According to the new fuel regime released by the management, non indigenous who are freshers are expected to pay 2.5 million naira to study medicine, while indigenous will pay 1.3 million naira. So the meeting became necessary for the management to justify its action and make parents see reason why the institution must continue to assist. The vice chancellor of the university took time to explain reasons for the increment for the stakeholders, which will be fed legally by new intakes. There are three courses that pay only one year and I'll show you how many courses pay that much. Many courses in science, you still pay one year and pay that much. You know So the courses that are costly are very few. Very, very few. Parents, students, and people of Undo Kingdom want the fees to be reviewed and call for better funding by government. The fact that um, they are saying the increment is 10 to 50 percent is not across the board. And we, students, what we want is for the university to reverse, to reverse our payment to the original school fees payment according to our year. That the government should please, the subvention of the school should be given to them as as when due. And without subvention, there's no way the school can move forward. There is no amount of school fees we can pay that will make the school move forward. After the meeting, the Vice Chancellor cleared the air on some issues raised. We have seen a lot of press reports saying our fees, two million plus. We clarified the issue that our fees for the current students is only a 10 to 15 percent um, in increase, and that is due to a number of factors, inflation trends. This is a specialized school. There are only very few students uh, they are allowed to train, are permitted to train, to be trained for each course. For example, we train only 10 students for dentistry. And so, when people compare prices, they cannot be comparing it with big universities that are all conventional universities that will have 100 students here, 200 there. Stakeholders here believe that adequate funding of the university is paramount as they want the management to review the school fees downward. Ayodejimoradeo, TVC News, Undo.